Australopithecus afarensis was a bipedal hominid, and this is evidenced by many aspects of the skeleton. First, the position of the foramen magnum of the skull indicates that the skull was oriented directly above the vertebral column. This is a bipedal position. Secondly, the vertebral column had been modified, especially in the lumbar region. The lumbar region um, no longer had the features which allow the flexion of the back, uh, which allows knuckle walking in apes. So the lumbar region indicates that it was bipedal. The hip of Australopithecus afarensis was adapted for bipedal locomotion and was very unlike the hip of chimps. Although there was no apparent enlargement of the pelvic inlet for enlarged fetal crania during birth. Australopithecus possessed enlarged gluteal muscles and flattened condyles of the femur and tibia which would allow an upright posture. The femur was adapted for bipedal locomotion with a longer neck reduction of the shaft angle, a more superior greater trochanter, and modified muscle attachment points. Only minor differences separate the femur of Australopithecus afarensis from those of modern humans. In apes, the large toe or hallux diverges from the rest of the foot so that it has some grasping ability. In all hominids known to date, including all Australopithecus and Homo habilis fossils where the foot is present, the large toe or hallux is convergent and has lost this opposition. So in Australopithecines, the large toe is unlike that of apes.